Little Women, <laughs> more like only woman film to get a nomination for Best Picture this year. How? Why? Why are they doing this? Academy, you got some explaining to do? Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to Everyday Nerd. I'm your host, Zack Snyder. If you're new around here on Yen, we pull from every corner of nerd culture to talk about anything and everything that piques my interest. We're coming up on the end of our Best Picture nominees. It was gonna be a week, and then I took two months in between uploads. Uh-oh, my bad. But we're not quite done yet. We've got six down, three to go. Let's talk about a girly movie. Ew, yo. <laughs> This is Meg, Amy, Beth, and Joe. If you don't know anything about it, 2019's Little Women is the latest film adaptation to Louisa May Alcott's classic American novel by the same name. Directed by Greta Gerwig and starring Saoirse Ronan, Florence Pugh, Emma Watson, and Eliza Scanlon, this film follows the book's plot pretty closely, detailing the lives of four young women as they grow up under their mother while their father is involved in the Civil War. Little Women was also nominated for Best Costume Design, Best Original Score, Best Adapted Screenplay, Best Actress for Serge Ronan, and Best Supporting Actress for Florence Pugh. If I had to use one word to describe Little Women, I'd say it is joyful. All throughout watching this, and even on a rewatch, I couldn't help but just be happy. Happy to watch these characters grow up, happy to see their hopes and dreams form and evolve, and even though there are definitely some sadder moments towards the end, the overall atmosphere here that is built throughout its production design, its costumes, the performances, the music by Alexandre Desplat, and of course Greta Gerwig's direction, it's all just perfectly joyful. And trust me, this is a nice change of pace compared to the other Best Picture nominees. Don't get me wrong, even though I enjoyed most of the films this year, uh, there, there's, it's just nice to sit down and watch a film that's, that's happy and, and not about loud guns or loud cars or loud people. Here we have a film that goes through what's arguably the most important part of a young woman's life. Jo is trying to come in terms with her life as a writer, avoiding marriage and love in the process. Amy has aspirations of becoming a painter with the hopes that she'll one day marry someone who's wealthy. Meg has the talents of an actor, but is content with settling down and starting a family instead. And Beth is a pianist who, oh, uh, spoiler alert for this very old book, uh, Beth dies. She dead. No longer alive. Throughout its runtime, Little Women presents the main cast in two different time periods. One where they are young, carefree teenagers, and the other five years in the future where they've presumably grown up a little bit and are young women. When I rewatched Greta's other film the other day, Lady Bird, I noticed that it's very similar in terms of the part of the life that the story focuses on. Sure, Lady Bird is set in 2002-2003, so it's more of a modern approach, but at the end of the day, both of these films kind of focus on a young person's life right when you're starting to make actual decisions that impact your future. I bring this up because the editor for Lady Bird was Nick Huey, who also edited Little Women, and it's also one of the things I personally love about this film. Here we have non-linear storytelling at its best, weaving between two time periods and conversations, each scene seamlessly falling into the next, with the color grading being the only real main way of determining where you're at. We have darker, oranger tones for the childhood scenes and brighter, bluer tones for the adult scenes, making for almost this dreamlike experience. I think it's this dreamlike experience coupled with the standout performances of Saoirse Ronan and Florence Pugh that make this such a happy film for me. These two actresses specifically have been in a handful of films that I've really enjoyed over the past couple of years and they bring so much energy into this screenplay. Since it is an adaptation of a book that I haven't personally read, I can't really say much on the adaptation portion here, but I do know that a lot of the themes explored in the book are very present in the film. I also know that a lot of them are more equipped for a more modern audience, which I really appreciate. And there's even a bit of some inception here. The book Joe March gets published at the end of the movie is the actual book Little Women. Overall, it's difficult for me to come up with things that I didn't like about this film. Timothy Chalamet is in this film, and while he usually plays characters in films that are extremely punchable, there's no denying that he plays this role really well. 
Uh, I found out that Christian Bell plays the same character in like the 1990 something adaptation of this movie. And I just thought that was funny how much these two kind of look alike. So we can expect Timothy Chalamet to be a Batman in a future film. Get hyped. I'm making the prediction now. With Robert Pattinson being Batman soon, I feel like anything can happen in the, the world of comic books. I also heard a lot of people just didn't watch this because there's so many adaptations of Little Women that like, why would they go out of their way to watch a new adaptation, even if it is nominated for Best Picture? And I guess like, that's kind of fair, but with someone like Greta Gerwig behind the reins, I feel like I could easily say that this is a superior version of the story now. She's definitely a director to look out for in the future. And honestly, I would argue that she should have gotten a Best Director nomination. All in all, I loved Little Women, but of course we do have to ask the question, did it deserve its nominations? Well, it did win Best Costume Design and honestly, there's no denying that one. I personally would have loved for this to win Best Soundtrack because Alexander Desplat has been a favorite film composer of mine for a while now. I definitely think it deserved its nomination for Best Adapted Screenplay. And I've already talked about Saoirse Ronan and Florence Pugh being great, so their nominations definitely made sense to me. As far as Best Picture goes, there was a lot of great films this year, so I'm, it's like hard for me to say that it deserved to win, especially over Parasite. But I'm really happy to see that this one got recognized. But that's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If for reason you didn't like it, you can hit the dislike button. But let me know down in the comments, what are your thoughts on Little Women? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you think it deserved to win Best Picture? Let me know. I'm very curious on your thoughts on the film. Also, we're really close to a thousand subscribers. We're like a hundred away. So I'm really trying to get there this year. If you haven't yet subscribed, please, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Check out all the other content on the channel. And until next time, I will see you on the next episode of Your Everyday Nerd. Goodbye.